Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be unboxing for you the HP Elite Small Form Factor 600 G9 computer. This is the latest uh, Small Form Factor Elite Desk 600 that HP have um, got out at the moment. That's as of July 2022. Um, this is the G9, which comes with the i7 processor. I've cut open the box, I'm just going to get it out, show you what comes in the box, and show you the ports that are on the front and the back um, for those that are interested. So, let's get started. Um, immediately when you open it, you can see they've included a keyboard on the top there. Let's pull that out and just show you what's included. Um, yep. So we can see that that is just a standard HP wired keyboard. It's just a standard USB port. It's got the um, sort of the shallower key feeling to it. So it's kind of like those laptop style ones. Uh, so just put that back away off the go here. Uh, we've got another box in here, which uh, yep, standard HP USB mouse, so all wired and a standard power cord. That over here. Alright, and let's get some cardboard packaging and a plastic wrapper to wrap the PC. Okay, so here it is. Um, we've got four USB ports on the front and one USB-C port. And if we have a look on the back, we've got power, uh, six standard USB ports and a network port, an HDMI out and two display port out, and a headphone jack. Um, I'm gonna open it up and show you the inside. Okay, so inside, I'll bring it around and show you front on. Um, we've got a couple of PCI ports, the smaller PCI port there, so there's two spares and a, one of those micro ones. Um, it's got a CD-ROM drive included, you can't actually really see from the front of it because it's they've included it in the, the fascia I suppose, but if you hit that around there it must eject. Um, underneath the CD-ROM drive, which is going to be really hard to show you guys, is four memory slots. Um, so only one is being used uh, as it comes out of the box, um, but there is four there that you can use and then down here, there's another spot for a secondary NVMe hard drive, which I'm going to put into this one, which I've got waiting over here to go in. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. That's the unboxing of the, the latest G9 600 from HP. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll continue to bring you more content and unboxing of tools, computers, and whatever else I can find. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, I thought I'd just um, add on to the back of this video um, and show you guys the difficulties I'm having putting a secondary hard drive in. So, taking the top case off, I'll show you that here. Um, but getting the front fascia off is a little bit tricky and it honestly just sort of feels like you're going to break it when you're pulling it off. Now, as I said, this is my first time with this particular model, but uh, I don't know if maybe I'm doing it wrong, um, but see what you think. I'll pull it off here and show you what I mean. So it's got some tabs up the top, so I unclick them, and then it sort of falls forward. But then, because the bottom is stuck, see, it just gets stuck there. I assume you've got to pull it forward like that. That just breaks off the CD-ROM drive, and then it folds forward like so. Now, it does go back on just as easy, but I can't help but feel like I'm breaking it when I'm pulling that front part off. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Can you comment below and let me know if you've done this before, if you've found the same problem? Um, the next issue I have is, here's my Samsung uh, NVMe M2 drive. Let me get that out here. Right, and I'll go and put this on top here. So there's a little slot down there for it. So I'll just slide it in. Okay, let me just get these wires out of the way. Actually, I might... I'll pull the wires out of the way first. It's a little hard to hold the camera and do this. Sorry, guys. Okay, so there we are. It's plugged in and it's down. The problem is the NVMe, NVMe M2 drive doesn't come with a screw to screw it down to here. Now, on past uh, HP models, I've always found that they had spare screws on the inside of the casing of the box that you could unscrew and then use 
to put into secondary hard drives and things like that. Um, but on this model, I don't see any screws that are designed to come out and assist you with screwing that down. Um, luckily in my personal collection, I have some spare computer screws that I have from past builds that I've done. So I'm gonna get that out, screw it down, uh, and then clip that front fascia back on uh, and hopefully not break it. But yeah, I just thought I'd do another little video and show you how it's a little bit tricky. Um, so I don't know, am I doing it wrong? Let me know, comment below. Thanks guys and, and please keep watching.